new details about the federal investigation into New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell. As sources tell Fox 8, the FBI wants to know more about the time Cantrell spent with a member of her security detail. And a crime watchdog says their questions closely mirror a case in Tennessee that resulted in charges being brought against a sitting mayor there. Here's our new outside the office investigation. It was completely designed to humiliate me uh, and to pol politically embarrass me. Six years ago, the mayor of Nashville at first denied having an affair with her security detail. Was he getting paid while you were having relations with him? No. Then Mayor Megan Barry took her bodyguard on taxpayer funded trips out of town while the two carried on a secret affair. Do you think there was anything that, though that was inappropriate in terms of did he really need to be there? Did he really need to be with you? while you're going to a concert or something like that? When I'm out, I'm working all the time. And so I let the police department make the decisions about how I should be staffed. In 2018, Barry and her bodyguard pleaded guilty to state charges of felony theft. Tennessee investigators looked at the 10 city-funded trips Barry took with her bodyguard and the tens of thousands of dollars in overtime the bodyguard collected while claiming to protect the mayor. The charges centered around an affair while taxpayers paid the bodyguard. The mayor images of what happened in Nashville and what we see playing out here. And now sources with knowledge of the ongoing investigation in New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell say federal investigators are asking similar questions here about the mayor and her bodyguard, NOPD officer Jeffrey Vappi. While the charges would be different from the Nashville case, federal versus state, sources say the concept of both investigations appear to be the same. Well, the similarities are that you're talking about a police officer that was part of an executive protection uh, team for the mayor of Nashville was billing the city for work that he was not actually performing. So if he was not protecting the mayor, was engaged in a personal relationship, that essentially would have been the basis of the state charges that resulted in him being charged and the mayor of Nashville being charged and ultimately resigning. This would just be uh, taking the same principles to the federal side of the ledger. Sources with knowledge of interviews federal investigators conducted say FBI agents have recently been asking questions about Vappi and Cantrell, their relationship, and the time the two have spent together. Mayor Cantrell has repeatedly denied a relationship with Vappi. Um, as I've stated, you know, uh, based on the false uh, allegations that come my way, by the time I finish this job, literally, you know, accused of, of sleeping with half of the city of New Orleans, both genders and all pronouns. I'm known as Teddy sometimes and then Teddy other times. So with that, false allegations do not, um, that's, that's basically all I have to say about it. Our outside the office investigation found Vappi spending long hours inside the city-owned Upper Pantaba apartment, sometimes leaving late at night alone, not protecting the mayor when she left after midnight. Vappi's wife filed for divorce, claiming in court records Vappi admitted the affair, something Vappi and Cantrell both say is untrue. So as it relates uh, to my professional uh, relationship, uh, with Officer Vappi, that's where it is. It's strictly professional. In months worth of public security camera video obtained by Fox 8, Vappi is the only officer to ever enter the Upper Pantaba apartment. Other members of the mayor's executive protection team in interviews with police investigators even called the relationship troubling. So do you feel like his actions embarrassed the, embarrassed the unit? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel like he crossed that line of professionalism with his protection duties? The way it looks? Yeah. Looks bad. And you talked to him about that? Yeah. All right. Did you talk to any of the NOPD guys about that? Uh, I think we talked as a whole. Yeah, as a whole. What do you mean when you say as a whole? Well, uh, it, because they noticed it. They witnessed it. And when you say they, give me some names. Jeff, uh, Robert and... Uh, Lewis. Okay. Robin Lewis. So they all they all noticed it. So, you know, we were like, what is this dude doing? You know. The head of the Metropolitan Crime Commission says to pursue a case like this, the federal government must have more than circumstantial proof. I don't believe the government will charge the mayor or Officer Vappi strictly on circumstantial evidence. I think that they would uh, 
uh, have a higher standard than that. And I think that if they do charge them with that, it's because they believe they have sufficient evidence to meet the burden of proof to prove them guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Goyeneche says he believes this is just one piece of the federal investigation, that FBI agents and the U.S. attorney are looking at other potential corruption with the mayor. One source told us recently investigators asked whether the mayor or VAPI received anything of value from parties who are regulated by or do business with the city. Our prior investigations detail the FBI is also looking into clothing purchases made for Cantrell by our image consultant. And last year, both Cantrell and Vappi hired well-known criminal defense attorneys. Goyeneche believes the pace of this investigation shows it might be coming to an end soon, in the next few months. We'll find out sooner rather than later because this investigation uh, is either going to result in an indictment in the near future or it's just going to dry up and blow away. And I think that because this has reached the point that it has, where uh, grand juries have been convened and evidence has been assembled. We want to uh, note that right now Cantrell and Vappi have not been accused of any criminal wrongdoing. We reached out to Cantrell's attorney, Eddie Castang, and Vappi's attorney, Harry Rosenberg, both told us no comment.